So far, we've been finding probabilities using the normal distribution. Now, what we're going to be doing is, given the probability, can we work backwards and find the z-value in these cases? So we're going back to work with the standard normal distribution. And we've got four values to find, a, b, c, and d. Okay, And I'm going to show you how we're going to interpret what these things mean, how we're going to work them out using our tables. Okay. So for each of these, you're going to want to make sure you draw a diagram. Now, there might have been questions previously where you were thinking, oh, I don't need to draw a diagram. Um, that's fine. Well, with these, you need to be able to interpret what you're finding. Otherwise, you're going to find this very difficult indeed. OK, and you're going to make mistakes. So what is this asking for? Find, the prob find A such that the probability of Z being less than A is 0.6. So there is a value of A somewhere along here, so that if I work to the left of it, then the probability is 0.6, the area is 0.6. So if it was slap bang in the middle, then the area to the left is 0.5. So to be 0.6, it would have to be a little bit to the right. So I need that value so that this probability is 0.6, this shaded region here. So in order to find A, what you want to do is go to the table 2. So we're not looking at table 1 anymore, we're looking at table 2. It's a little bit smaller, OK? The next page is on page 3, OK? So what are we looking at? So we are looking at the probability being 0.6. So you find 0.6 on here, and you get uh, 0.2533. So a little bit along from 0 is 0.2533, which is the value I wanted. OK? So this time, for number 2, There's zero. Somewhere along here is B, so that to the left, the error is 0.87. So B would have to be over here in order for this to be an error of 0.87. So I need to look up 0.87 in the tables. So 0.8 and then 7 is 1.1264. And so that is the value of B. So it's further along than A, as we would expect, to give a higher probability. OK, now for number three. Now, somewhere along here is C, so that to the left is 0 0.3. So that would mean that C would have to be over on this side in order for the probability to the left to be 0.3. Right. Now, the problem is that my tables don't go up to 0.3. Right. OK, so that's a, bit of a, that's a bit of a bother. However, what I can do is I could look at the corresponding value over here. OK, in order for that to be 0 0.3, because of the symmetry of the curve, if I know this value, then I can work out the opposing value. So if that's 5, then that would be minus 5, for example. Now, I still can't look up 0 0.3, but that would mean that this region is 0 0.7, because remember, the whole thing's got to be 1. So if I look up 0 0.7, on my tables, I get 0.5244. So that's 0.5244 there. So that would mean that C would have to be the negative 0.5244. OK, so that's how we can deal with that situation. So finding number four, similar situation. 
So D is somewhere along here, so that to the left is a probability of 0.02. So it'd have to be that little bit there. So I can't look up 0.02. So we've got to look on the other side. So that means that this region would have to be 0.98. So if I look up 0.98, it will be the negative of that value. So 0.98 is 2.0537. So D must be minus 2.0537. And so that's how we can use our tables to find these values.